guys, Kyle Mickey here with CSTV News and your news in 60 seconds. First off, let's talk about the Winter Olympics in Sochi, Russia. There have been many concerns for all the athletes and visitors that are in Sochi. Many concerns deal with the poor quality of the hotels. There have been multiple complaints about no light bulbs and, and windows breaking. Also, some hotels advise not to flush the toilet paper or even drink the water as it may have something dangerous in it. Also, there is a terrorist threat in Sochi with the nearby Islamic groups. Next, some interesting news that was released about what people have tried to bring on an airplane in the U.S. this past year. Would you guess guns, grenades, fragments of human skull, pepper spray disguised as lipstick? Yep, these were all found. In fact, 1,813 guns were confiscated by the TSA and 80% of them were loaded. Be careful while flying, guys. This has been Kyle Mako with CSTV News. Hello, I'm Alex Hughes with CSTV Sports, sitting here with Zachary Wamser of the boys' varsity wrestling team. So, Zach, how have you guys done this season? Pretty good. I'd, I'd say we're about 500 in wins and losses, about 50-50, yeah. Um, what's it like, and how do you prepare for such a big stage like this, going, possibly going on to state? Um... You just practice throughout the season, keep getting better every week, and then once you make it past districts, you got to step up your game to go on to regionals and then on to state. Zach, with um, not, many, not a lot of seniors on the team, three, I think, Barron, Kyle, and Jared Voldry, um, what will it be like next year not having those three um, seniors? It's going to be tough because they were pretty good leaders, got us some points in the, as a team in our team uh, duels. So. Yeah, well, best of luck to you at District Individuals. Thanks, Zach. And a special congrats to Jordan Ringler, Baron Leonardson, Logan McGann, and Zachary Wamser to making it to regionals. This has been Alex Hughes with CSTV Sports. Now back to... Hi, I'm Madeline Bacruel from CSTV News, and love is in the air. Friday is Valentine's Day, and we are here with some tips on how to make your day with your significant other great. First... Make sure you're dressed nicely. Get out of your casual school clothes and put on something nice. No one wants a ragamuffin as a date. Next, stop slouching and smile. Bigger, 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 perfect. Now we can see those pearly whites. Now that you look prim and proper, you need to make sure you have everything ready for your date. Flowers? Check. How pretty. She'll love those. Now you're almost ready. But wait, do you have a gift? Ah, there it is. Is it something she'll like? What is it? Aw, chocolate and a necklace. I know every girl wants that. Now that you have everything you need, you're ready for your date. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Stop eating. And next time, use some silverware. Now chew, slower, and make sure you don't talk with your mouth open when you're with her. Ah, 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 elbows off the table, and straighten your tie. Looks good. And one last thing, make sure you don't forget your date. Well, it looks as if Joel is now educated on how to have the perfect Valentine's Day. Thank you, Joel, for showing us what it's supposed to look like. I hope you guys all use our tips on how to have the perfect day with your special someone. Back to you guys. Hello, Cedar Springs High School. This is your news anchor, Ian Murphy, hoping you're all having a great week here at CSHS. As you can see, I'm holding the 2013 Cedar Springs yearbook. Now, each yearbook it contains a variety of different things from pictures of all your classmates to information about each sport and club that happened throughout the year. I love the yearbooks and I think they are fantastic products. So we thought here at CSTV that we'd catch up with Ms. D'Amico, the teacher of the yearbook class, to see how they put together such a great product each year. So Ms. D'Amico, what are your responsibilities as the advisor of the yearbook class? 
Well, I have a lot of responsibilities. I'm kind of a combination of a bunch of different things. I'm an editor, I'm an advisor, sometimes I'm even a therapist. So I have a wide variety of responsibilities. Okay, uh, and finally, uh, first, any student who wants to still purchase the yearbook, uh, is there any information you could give them? Well, this week is our last week of in-school sales, so we're selling the yearbook at lunches, both lunches, for $80. Um, or they can get it at a discounted price online at www.yearbookforever.com for $70. After our conversation with Ms. D'Amico, we caught up with yearbook student Trisha Long to ask about the class from the student's perspective. Uh, my main role is writing copy for the yearbook, but um, as a writer, like you branch out, you have to be where, where you're going to write. Like if you, I'm writing a story on the basketball team, I have to be at the basketball games. So while I'm already going to the basketball games, you might as well just take pictures while you're there for the photo people. Everyone kind of does a little bit of everything in yearbook. We've had to push back both of our deadlines so far this year, but mostly like you have a set day where like you have to have your story handed in and then you have to pass it through copy editor and then when you're done with that you have to give your spread to the photo person and then the design person and then once it goes through them and they say it's good it has to go to the editor in chief and she'll say it's okay and then it has to go to the teacher. This is usually like too long of a process to do in class so we have a day where we just stay after and then like we get pizza and people are here until 8 or 9 o'clock editing spreads. Well CSHS that'll do it for this week. Make sure you order yourself one of these fantastic yearbooks. This is your news anchor, Ian Murphy, signing out. Thanks.